Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on December 28th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, world weather forecast, and as well earthquake and volcano update. Having a look at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, still watching four active sunspot regions, one of them just producing an M-class flare. So we've had two M-class flares the last 48 hours, one in the southern region sunspots and one on the northern. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, there are no more cresting sunspots to talk about. Seems everything has now come around in an earth-facing view. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, Pretty active sunspot outgoing there as well. Large plasma filament eruption. And the two M-class solar flares right here. One on the right and one on the left. Another closer look at the region where there was this M-class solar flare. As well, looking at multi-spectrum, all of the last and latest events on our sun. Looking here, 171 angstroms. This is where we can see our coronal holes, which are now coming into an Earth-facing view along the equatorial region. So we can expect our solar winds to be increased over the next couple days as it arrives. Iswa Spiral is not showing the Earth-facing event just yet. Still only showing that minor CME towards Mercury. Lasco 2 and 3 showing the last little bit of expelled energy from our Sun. Real-time solar winds, we're sitting at about 434 kilometers per second. And that's slightly down from being elevated to about 470 earlier today. 550, sorry, earlier today. We did have a geomagnetic activity elevation and as well elevation with the flare class up into the M class. Looking at the highest frequency absorption map here, you can see South America took a major hit. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 19. Not much has changed since yesterday. Power of 19 and a quality of 6.80. Looking at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, pretty calm. Only observing about 155 earthquakes across the USGS map the last 24 hours. And most of these earthquakes have been fours, minor fours and fives. And a lot of minor activity coming across North American plate. We're going to start out here in the United States with a 4.5 in Stanton, Texas at a 75 kilometer depth. That was recorded early, early this morning, about 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as well, all along the coast here through California up into the Juan de Fuca, minor activity, minor activity coming back to Hawaii as well. And you can see here it did have a little bit of a spill coming out of its cone and as well, the octave, active lava lake. Amazing images coming out of the Kilauea caldera today. As we're seeing the activity and seismicity increase. One lonely earthquake to report here in Japan, 62 kilometer depth, North Japan, a 4.3, as well, a couple 4.7s here through Indonesia. 4.4 there in the Philippines, very close to the Tal Volcano. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on that. Santa Cruz, Philippines with a 4.4, 75 kilometer depth. Still seeing earthquakes up into the Indian Ocean region. 4.7 there, Nicobar Islands, as well as Carlsberg Ridge. Seeing a 4.7 and a 4.6 leading down into Pinton de la Fournaise 
who has most recently erupted. As well, looking at Germ, Afghanistan, 4.2, 213 kilometer depth. And then our deepest earthquake today to report, Fiji, 4.6, Lavuka, Fiji, at a 576 kilometer depth. And that is our deepest earthquake to report the last 24 hours. A couple notable earthquakes here, New Zealand, Blenheim, New Zealand, both reporting a 4.5. Very quiet across the South American plate as well. Only reporting here this 4.6 in Ecuador. Tena, Ecuador at a 29 kilometer depth. Minor activity continuing through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. And that's the last 24 hours. Most notable, that 4.7 in Stanton, Texas. And just recently we did see a 5.0 in India. Not reported in this little episode i just got the notification now looking at the last seven days across the world and what's been shaken recently way too quiet in my mind for south america and as well the north american plate up into alaska watching for an increase in seismicity through alaska as the systems move in Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Reventador, Hunga Tonga, Fuego, Nevadas de Ruiz, Sangay in Ecuador. Avalanches here, France, Switzerland, Colorado, Utah, uh, Sabinkaya in Peru, Shevelich in Russia, Era in Japan, uh, Yasser in Vanuatu, Semeru, Indonesia, Swiss in Ajima, Japan. Nevada, the Chilean, Colombia. And that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated just today. And we have about 50 that are active. Looking across satellite imagery around the world, still extreme cold temperatures right from northern Ontario and westward through the prairies. Extreme colds even being reported in British Columbia. And dangerously extreme cold through Alberta and Saskatchewan. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, big high-pressure ridge building in off the coast there, of North America. Some pretty wet systems heading through the Mediterranean and will be heading into parts of Iraq this week. And as well, most of the moisture moving out of South Africa. Other than that, no major weather events to talk about, nor cyclones or hurricanes. Having a look at the five-day forecast here, brought to you by... Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here in Ontario still above seasonal te temperatures and high pressure ridge has pretty much smashed all of the moisture out of the air from this system that was projected to come through and they were expecting us to see about three centimeters but high pressure ridge wins again and then watch as we have this Colorado low coming into Ontario for Saturday Sunday and not quite sure, but it looks like it's going to be rain here for parts of southern Ontario and snow for northern. But the line's going to be going right through central Ontario. Cold temperatures behind that, so watch for that to move into Ontario. In the long-range forecast, we do have some real winter temperatures. Pointing out the temperatures here through Alberta, up into the Yukon. And as well, pointing out these systems that are racing out of Alaska down the BC coastline. Alberta Clipper there forming from one of them. And as well, looking at this big bad boy that's going to bring a lot of snow to the BC coastline. And as well, parts of the Pacific Northwest. High pressure ridge for Pacific Northwest building in in the long range. And watch along the southeastern United States. You could see some extreme weather here from this system coming out of Texas and moving northeastward. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, still pretty big and organized low pressure center with a lot of other low pressure centers wrapped up in it. And they're all heading into Ireland, the United Kingdom. Lots of moisture heading into Finland. High pressure ridge over Spain. And then watch this low pressure system heading out of Italy 
into the Mediterranean and then watch it run through Egypt over into Iraq into the long range forecast here. You could see an extreme weather event, flash floods through parts of Iran and Iraq this week. Overlooking Southeast Asia, high pressure ridge moving in, no major weather events to talk about. Extreme cold temperatures continue to linger apart around Russia. But as you can see, a lot of pink is growing in here. So that polar vortex is growing. Low pressure system here is going to be bringing a lot of snow to Japan and northward into Kamchatka. Overlooking Malaysia, Indonesia, daily evaporation rains could be pretty heavy here through north and south Sumatra. Overlooking Australia, low pressure system moving away from the continent out into the ocean and daily evaporation rains, unsettled conditions through parts of Northern Territory. High pressure ridge for New Zealand drying things out most of the week. Long line of moisture here stretching from the equator down to the Antarctica. And then a low pressure system here will be bringing a few days of rain towards the Hawaiian Islands. South America, no major weather events to talk about. Daily evaporation rains, long line of moisture heading out the Argentina-Brazil border. Africa, system heading into northern parts, but going to jet east through Egypt. Other than that, most of the systems have moved away from the continent. Daily evaporation rains through southern parts. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows spinning on our planet right now. I want to thank you all for watching, and if you've made it this far, please get in the comment section, tell me how much you love the video, and don't forget to smash that like button. Much love to everybody. Again, we've got some big systems here brewing across the northern hemisphere, hence northern hemisphere has gone beast mode. Look at these systems. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily events worldwide. Bye-bye now. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world